Hi, this is Mrs. Bratcher here, and we are preparing for the Moss Expert exam in Word. And in this chapter, you're going to learn about managing and sharing documents. In today's work environment, you often are going to collaborate with coworkers to write and revise final documents. You would share it with groups of people. As they made changes, you're going to want to merge those changes or be able to track the changes that were made so you can decide which changes to keep. You may even decide to add a password to your document to protect it. And all of this is part of the collaborative process that would happen if working in documents in the workforce. We're going to learn how to modify existing templates. A template is just a pre-made document that has sections already added for you, like titles or headings and images. You can get those by going to the Backstage View in Word. You can also create your own templates, or you can access the templates that are saved on your computer by opening the File Explorer and pasting in this address. Once you hit enter, that will take you to the document with the templates that you have saved on your computer. Here are the steps to modify an existing template. You can pause the video at this moment and take a snip of this and save it in your notes. And now I'm going to demonstrate how to do this. If you don't have any custom Office templates saved on your drive, you can just Choose a template from the Backstage view and save it. You can go to File, Save As, choose your location and your H drive. On my H drive, I'm going to make a folder for custom office templates. If you don't already have one, you may have one. I went into the custom office templates. I've got it weekly assignments. I'm going to change it from Word document to template, Word template and then go ahead and hit save at this point. At this point, this is when you could modify the styles of this template, not the content. To modify the styles, you can go to the styles group. You will see a quick dialog box launcher in the bottom right hand corner. At that point, the styles dialog box is going to pop up and you'll see the styles that are applied to this template. You can click on each style template or style and you can choose to modify that style. So I can click the drop down arrow and I can choose modify and make any change that I would like. For example, maybe I don't want it to be a charcoal gray color, I want it to be a black color or a pink color. Maybe I don't want it to be century gothic, I want it to be a different type of font. Once you've made the change you just hit OK you can then go back and save your template. You've now modified a template.